the 40s, band leader Louis Jordan pioneered a wild and wildly popular amalgam of jazz and blues. His music was labeled jump blues or jump and jive and served as a precursor to rhythm and blues and rock and roll of the 50s and 60s. Well, Louis Jordan and the Timpani Five, which was his, the name of his band, although it wasn't always five piece, that's what he went by. Jordan and his Timpani Five began recording for Decca Records in 1938, remaining on the label until 1953. He had his first million seller in 1944 with Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby. Is you is or is you ain't my baby. The thing I liked about Louis George's material is his songs were all about happy stuff. And even if they were about sad stuff, they had an ironic twist to them. But the thing that Louis Jordan also brought into everything was interaction between the musicians. They'd be yelling at each other and, come on, get down, and la, la, la. And I try to include that in all my originals as well as the instrumentation from Louis Jordan. Today, Jordan's music and style continues. Dave Camp has a passion for swing and says it will never die. I was playing, uh, you know, Southern rock and all other forms of music at the time, and when I got involved with that band, they hit me to what was really cool, which was swing music. And swing music, it ain't got the thing if it ain't got that swing. And I do a lot of swing music now because of uh, Louis Jordan and the Timpani Five. And, you know, he's written some of the most fabulous songs of all time, and he's also written some songs he doesn't get credit for. I think his first big hit was Caledonia, which was 1949. Although I believe he wrote it before then. Uh, he's not credited with writing the song, but there was problems with him getting credit for his songs back then because uh, of his race. Caledonia! Caledonia! What make you pay it so hard? I love that girl, I love her just the same. Well, I'm crazy about the baby cause cat don't you is her name. Dr. Dave pursues the same basic rhythm of shuffle boogie created by Jordan, but with a twist of Dave Camp and the DC Blues. Well, my roots are actually in Washington, DC, but I left there and moved to San Diego where I played with some of the greats like Roy Brown and Jimmy Witherspoon, Smokey Wilson, Big Mama Thornton. I picked up the swing out in, in California, and they, they call it California swing, but it wasn't, and I'm not gonna say it's not true swing because there's some good swing bands out there, and there's some great swing bands in the Northeast. Uh, I wish there was more swing bands down here. I think that swing is always gonna be with us because there's people going out there dressing the dress, they're buying the cars, they're putting the whole thing together just to go out and do the swing dancing. Dave Camp's first CD included five Lewis Jordan originals, and now he has just released his new CD titled Blind Date. My second CD uh, is not so much swing as, it's, it's almost all original stuff. I do do a, a version of, this, of Amazing Grace, which is New Orleans style, and I do, do a cut from 1923 by uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, C.C. Ryder, but the rest of it's all originals and it's very varied, but there is swing still involved and some New Orleans interpretation. If Louis Jordan made the blues jump and in so doing influenced B.B. King, Chuck Berry, and Bill Haley, then Dr. Dave will influence you with his unique interpretation of swing. And Louis Jordan was the king. He, well, you know, I can't say the king of swing because they gave that to Count Basie, but you know, he, to me, he was the me. Hey, Louis Jordan, he said it back then. He said, you know, Louis Jordan for president. Yeah.